Well, good afternoon. Uh, it's a time when uh, all good news is well received, and I just wanted to acknowledge the great news we received uh, this morning uh, from Netflix. In very difficult times, this is the kind of news that gives uh, people in this city and gives the city as a whole hope. Uh, we've been working hard to make sure that Netflix's new Canadian office would end up being located in Toronto. They told us they were taking a look at a couple of Canadian cities. We respect that competition, but I said to our team that it was game on. Uh, we put together a bid book in days uh, in order to make the case for Netflix to locate here uh, and engage with our creative industries, our creative people, and with our wonderful film and television production industry, which is second to none anywhere in the world, in my view. Our pitch was clear. Toronto is a film-friendly city, which welcomes and celebrates the screen industry in, broad, in the broadest sense, digital, television, and film. The quality and diversity of our talent pool is second to none anywhere in the world. We hear this over and over again. And we have a robust and ever-expanding production and post-production industry, including great partnerships with our unions, uh, who are people that make this happen with us, and a supportive provincial government with a solid tax credit regime. So I want to thank Netflix for making the right choice. Of course, I believe it's the right choice because it is. It's the right choice for Toronto, and it's the right choice for them. Netflix spends over $200 million a year on shows in Toronto, and that employs a lot of people in our city, and they've kept uh, bringing that production to Toronto, and I know there's going to be more going on in the future. So far in Canada, since 2017, Netflix has invested $2.5 billion uh, in productions that take place in our city, and that too is a lot of jobs for Canadians. Netflix has also been clear that they are committed to working with Canadian creators to bring stories from Canada to the world, and that's important to us too. I want to thank all the city staff uh, who worked on this pitch, uh, and that includes our film commissioner, Marguerite Pickett, and her sidekick, uh, Magalie Simard, and all the people that uh, work in the film office. We have a great, a small but mighty team in our film office who do such great work, not just attracting the industry here, but to serving them well when they get here. I want to thank as well Deputy Mayor Michael Thompson and Councillor Paula Fletcher. Uh, they join me as tireless advocates for our television, digital and film production industry and our post-production industries uh, here in the City of Toronto. They were on the call for the good news this morning. And I want to thank everyone who worked with us, including the province of Ontario, uh, to make a winning pitch. This has been a tough year for Toronto. It's been a tough year for all cities and for all Canadians. It's been a tough year for the people who live here. Uh, no matter what their job is, for businesses and for residents alike. It's just been a tough, tough time. But this news from Netflix, while it isn't in and of itself the biggest thing that's ever happened, it's a very significant indication, another one, that people have confidence in this city, as we should, those of us who live here. It, it underlines our determination to protect jobs, to get new jobs, to get new investment, and to make sure that we can have a strong recovery coming on the back end of this pandemic. Week after week, we are receiving good news in the city of Toronto about more companies, especially global companies, that are coming here to invest. They could choose to be anywhere in the world. And like Netflix, they're choosing Toronto. And I just hope that that gives the people who live here and the people who work here and who have businesses here that are struggling right now a sense of hope for the future. It's certainly a sense that I have. I want people to be proud of the city to understand that the post-pandemic world has, uh, has every prospect of being as good as what was going on here, making us one of the fastest growing cities in the world before the pandemic. All the ingredients are still here. This is what gives us hope that before too long, we can get back to that kind of growth, get back to the kind of life that it allowed us to enjoy, the quality of life that is the envy of the rest of the world. So we're committed to doing that. There's going to be more Netflixes to come, but for today, Netflix is the, uh, is the new uh, resident, corporate resident of Toronto that we want to celebrate. They've been here as people making productions. Now they're going to be here and call it their Canadian home, and we're very proud of that and very happy about that and very grateful to them for that. If there's any questions I, I can answer, I'm happy to do so. Thank you, Mayor. We will now open the floor to questions. As a reminder, it's one question, one follow-up. Please unmute yourself before asking your question. First up, we have David Ryder from the Toronto Star. Please go ahead. Hi, Mayor Tory. Um, so this is obviously Netflix is a is a is a big name and it's in almost everybody's homes, so they know it. But this is like one office in Toronto with, uh, I'm told, you know, maybe at the start anyway, sort of 10 to 15 people. So I'm just trying to wonder for, for people out there who want to know why this one office, is it signaling the future? Why, 
Yeah, Lo why this one office in front? Why is it one big? Why is it such a big deal? Every single office that I've been uh, pleased to help welcome to the city of Toronto has started off as one office with a small group of people. So I think of Shopify and going over there when they established their first office here. And I said to them, as I said to the Netflix executive in California today, I would intend to have this become the second biggest office next to the head office in the world. Uh, because we're going to be so good a place for you to do business that you're going to grow and grow and grow and we have such talented people here and so these things all start but i think the fact they've picked toronto to locate a canadian office is very significant uh, they're on notice that we're going to grow this office uh, and it's going to be a powerhouse office before too long and really cement our position yet again with this company and others who will follow uh, as uh, the place in canada to make film and television uh, productions I think that when it is a marquee name like Netflix, it causes others to say, you know what, if that's where they are, in addition to all the others who've come here in that business, uh, that's where we should be as well. And I think that's all um, very helpful to us in the cause of building up our industry and all the jobs that it represents. Thank you. And my follow up along the same lines, I guess, is most of the headlines and talk about offices in big cities right now is speculation that there just won't be that many that a lot of the corporate towers in cities like Toronto will have fewer tenants and that people, more people will be working from home or uh, just in other remote locations. Have you had any briefing or any idea from either your economic development people or um, people involved in commercial real estate in Toronto, if that's a concern, either in terms of uh, vitality of downtown or the tax base? It's definitely a concern because we're going through a transition that's been forced by the pandemic, but some of it will last after the pandemic as people have realized they can work from home. Um, and there are some businesses, unfortunately, we've lost during the pandemic. But on the flip side, um, we also have information from the people we're talking to as part of this task force we're doing with the Board of Trade and otherwise, that a lot of employees want to come back downtown to work. They miss the action of downtown. They miss being at the office with their colleagues. A lot of the employers want people to come back to work, and they have no intention of, of uh, moving their office or otherwise um, altering their office to a significant extent. And if you add to that the, the wins that we've had during a pandemic where Reddit uh, is establishing a new office here. It's Canadian office. Again, the same kind of thing. It will not start off as a huge office, but it's a global brand that chose Toronto. Um, Uber is locating further engineering uh, talent here and expanding their office. And we have others uh, that uh, quite a few on the list. I just don't remember them in my head at the moment. But, but you know, we have had quite a few wins and people are choosing Toronto and they will take space uh, in these very same buildings. So I'm very bullish about uh, Toronto's future, about the fact that uh, as soon as the immigration starts again, uh, and as soon as the pandemic is over, you're going to see, I think, very substantial new investment in this city by global companies and by homegrown companies. There's been a lot of growth that's taken place in tech during the time of the pandemic, interesting, interestingly enough, in terms of their revenue and so on. But there will be a transition for office space to some extent, and we will deal with that uh, in working hand in hand with the uh, private sector and with the Board of Trade and organizations like that. And Toronto downtown and Toronto generally will still be a very attractive place for people to live and work. Okay, that was the only question. Thank you everyone for joining us. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you very much.